The latest eruptions on the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland have emitted a huge plume of sulfur dioxide, so too, that is currently drifting across Europe. Fortunately, it isn't expected to have any significant effect on weather or health. The SO2 plume moved across Ireland and the UK towards Scandinavia on 20 March, the EU's Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service said today. It will reach the Baltic states, Poland and Russia on Friday. In Iceland, one person working at the Blue Lagoon Resort on the Reykjanes Peninsula was admitted to hospital on the 20th of March after being exposed to high levels of SO2 gas. However, the plume moving over Europe is well above ground level and won't affect the quality of the air below. The plume is at a higher altitude, says Mark Parrington at the Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service. In November of last year, a massive crack 15 kilometers long and several kilometers deep formed under part of the Reykjanes Peninsula. Magma that had accumulated deeper down then poured into it at the fastest rate ever recorded. On the 18th of December, lava began erupting along part of this crack. There have now been four eruptions along it, with the latest and largest yet starting on the 17th of March. The plume of SO2 across Europe was created during the initial phase of the latest eruption says Freisten Sigmundsen at the University of Iceland in Reykjavik. The flow rate has slowed since the initial phase, says Freisten, but the eruption continues as of the afternoon of the 21st of March.